Uh, my name is Wendy Ock Tanner, and I am from Allentown, Pennsylvania. And I have been with Symmetry since uh, the end of September, early October of 2019. I was a family law attorney in Pennsylvania and New Jersey for 25 years. I started out my career clerking for a judge in Camden, New Jersey. And after a year there, I then moved to a personal injury law firm for a short period of time, and I was pregnant with our, my first child. So we moved back home to Allentown where I would have some help, uh, Pennsylvania, and I switched gears and went to family law practice and did very well, uh, <clears throat> moved to a partnership and then moved out on my own and had my own practice for about 10 years. And I got very good at Hague work, where children are abducted to other countries uh, by a family member. And I would go petition through The Hague, uh, get them back, fly to that country where they actually were, and then uh, have to litigate in that country with local counsel. And that got to be really exhausting. When the children became the pawn in a chess game, it really ate at me. It was really very hard. And then, you know, those custody trials were, were Brutal, to say the least. It does not bring out the best in anybody. When my, my daughter at age 10 was standing in our kitchen one day, and I don't remember who, but somebody asked her, you know, Kaylee, what do you want to be when you grow up? And she said, well, I know what I don't want to be. I don't want to be what my mom does because I lost my childhood to her career. So I, I felt like somebody punched me in the stomach. So that's when I started to look at ZipRecruiter. And that's when I found Symmetry and interviewed actually as an appointment setter. And that's how I began last October. I always say that I will die with my pen in my hand at Symmetry. I will never leave because I come to this culture that is unbelievable. I was goosebumps as I'm sitting here telling you because everybody is really nice. Everybody's really kind. Everybody wants to see you succeed and be the best version of you. And they go out of your way to help you do that. I never, in 25 years, I had a handful of people I knew wouldn't stab me in the back. I had a handful of people that I knew would be happy for me as I climbed up the ranks and did well. Um, but otherwise, people would step on your head just to get an inch higher than you were. And it's not anything like that here. You know, I could call my upline at 10 o'clock at night from somebody's house and get the help I need. Or I'll call, you know, the agency owner and get his help, you know, in an instant. It's great. It's an unbelievable culture. So to me, that was the biggest uh, shock. Like, I, I thought that, you know, my upline, she's, she's fabulous. But I'm like, well, no, no, everybody's not going to be like that. And then her upline's fabulous. And, and, you know, you just keep going up the line to the owners who treat us like their own family. The schedule is probably my biggest hurdle. And what I would tell everybody from the very beginning get with somebody and really mimic their schedule and, and get it down to a T. You're gonna constantly move things around, but it's the most important thing to me. The people, the people I get to meet every day or talk to on the telephone, they are some of the nicest people I've ever met. And they're so thankful when they know that you've put that protection in place for their family. I had a woman tell me that their family was cursed. This was just two weeks ago. And, you know, her aunt died, fell down the steps at Easter and died. And somebody else passed away. And there were all these people who kept passing away in our family. And she's like, I'm terrified. I have two children. I want to make sure that the, both homes are paid off for my two children. They don't have to worry. And she had, you know, five, four grandchildren. And she said, I want to put some insurance in place for them as well. We talked about that. She was so happy. She was in tears at the end of the appointment. When we had put all those applications in place, she thanked me. And then when I got to call her and tell her that every single one of those applications was approved, she said, you have no idea what I feel like. I feel like I'm walking on air. So that's what keeps me going every day. So what did it teach me? Resiliency, strength. I hit the highest number of sales. Um, during that period of time of COVID and still do 98% of my business on the telephone. And being to help all these people during what they felt was this huge crisis in their life and the gratitude that I got from that just taught me even more that I am in the right place despite all the hardship of the year and, and illnesses and things of that nature. I'm in the right place doing the right thing and my family is good. 
And that's all that matters to me.